Now tell me about Kabbalah. What do you want to know? How your interest began in it. This is a... Now I'm, I'm mystical, Jewish. It is I don't remember anything learning about it when I was a kid growing because up. Because they don't teach the Kabbalah in... in um, well, it, it is considered um, traditionally the only people that are supposed to learn the Kabbalah are men and they have to be over the age of 42. So, because that is considered... So this is a sect of the Orthodox. Yeah, traditionally. But so people, um, teachers, you know, started kind of branching out and opening up centers and... What attracted you? A friend of mine who's Jewish and, but who isn't very religious was going to these classes and she kept coming back and, and um, telling me about them and telling me this, about this great charismatic rabbi and these great stories, these fables that he would tell and I was very moved by it. And it didn't really matter that I was, you know, raised a Catholic or wasn't Jewish and I, I felt very comfortable and I liked being anonymous in a classroom environment and it was nice learning. So do you feel now you are a... An honorary Jew. Uh, honorary Jew. Or are you, uh, is there a term for being, are you a Kabbalan? I'm a Kabbalist. Yes, I'd like to. I mean, there is definitely a Kabbalistic um, approach to life or a Kabbalistic point of view. Um.